Dear students, I am Abhinav Sulya, your English teacher. You all of you are very well aware that you have been provided with study material on the school website regularly. I have also provided you guys with a PDF of first chapter of Honeycomb. The chapter name is Three Questions. I hope you have read the chapter and understood the meaning. Here I am with a short explanation of the chapter. The chapter is all about a king who had three questions in his mind. And he thought if he knew the answers of his questions, he would be successful. Now the question is what are these three questions? They are what was the right time for every action? Who were the right people to be with? And what was the most important thing to do? He proclaimed that he would give a great reward to the one who can answer his three questions. A lot of learned men went with their answers. Unfortunately, the king was not satisfied with their answers. The king was even suggested to seek the help from magicians. But the magicians also could not satisfy the king with the answers. Finally, the king decided to consult a wise hermit who lived in woods. Here woodsman's jungle. He saw that the hermit was digging the ground. He went there and requested the hermit to answer his three questions. But the hermit kept mum. He didn't reply. He went on with his work. The king took the spade from the hermit and he dug the ground for the hermit. After a while, the king again requested the hermit to answer his questions, but the hermit kept silent. It was already sunset. The king again pleaded the hermit to give him the answers. And he further said if he didn't know the answers, he should say so. But the hermit was quiet. Meanwhile, the hermit saw a bearded man running and his hands on his stomach. The man was wounded badly. He told everything to the king and they both of them helped the wounded man. The next day, the king awoke and the bearded man saw him and apologized to him. He admitted that he was his enemy due to the certain regions. The bearded man said that he had heard about his going to the hermit so he had come to kill him but was attacked by his guards and was badly wounded and he was bleeding so much the king had saved his life. So he finally asked for the forgiveness from him because he had saved his life. The king was a kind man. He forgave the wounded man. The king again requested the hermit to answer his questions. And now the hermit was ready to answer his questions. He gave the answer to the first question. He said, Now is the time to do every action because now is the only time that we have powers. He gave importance to the time, present time. And he further said that now was the time everyone had power. Second answer, he said, The right person is who are with
He said, the people who are with you, you should give importance to them at that time. And here he had given importance to the hermit first and secondly to the wounded man. And third answer, the most important thing to do is to do good for the person you are with. That is, to help the people out. And here the man had helped the hermit with the digging. And secondly, he had also helped the wounded man. He had dressed him up. So this way the hermit gave the answers to his questions. Here we have uh, been provided with some exercises. Comprehension check. The question is, complete the following sentences by adding the appropriate parts of the sentences given in the box. Some parts of the sentences have been given below. Here we have been given fill in the blanks and in the, uh, uh, after the uh, exercise we have also been given some parts of the sentences that can be put in the blank. These are the parts of the sentences that can be used to fill the blanks. You have to read the chapter again if you don't understand and try to fill in the blanks with correct answers. Here we have second exercise that is working with the text. You have to answer all these questions on the basis of your reading. You have already read the chapter and this will surely help you answer these questions. In case you find difficulty with certain questions, you can also text me in the WhatsApp group. This exercise is very important to understand. It reads, each of the following sentences has two blanks. Fill in the blanks with appropriate forms of the word given in the brackets. Now what can be appropriate form? Words are given in the brackets. Appropriate forms can be the noun form, verb form, adjective form, adverb form and so on. We have been given an example here. It reads, he has dash to help me. Do you think he will remember his dash? The word given here is promise. Now how can this word be used in different forms in the blanks given there? He has, so when we come across this sentence has means we have to use the past participle form of the verb and the past participle form of promise is promised. So it is he has promised to help me. Do you think he will remember his dash? Now here we have to use the correct form again. So what correct form can be used? Correct form of promise. So it is promise itself. Here it has been used as a noun. That's the name. So it would be do you think he will remember his promise? I'll also uh, give one of the examples uh, in the first sentence. The dash said that only fresh evidence would make him change his dash. The word given is judge. Now the dash said, the no blank has been given. So you can question who said, clear. So we know who said then the appropriate word form of judge would be same, judge. The judge said that only fresh evidence would make him change his dash. Now what? So when we speak about what, so what can be the name? Maybe the name of the action. So what can be the action? Uh, what action can be formed out of judge? So when we add a uh, suffix to judge, that is M-E-N-T, it becomes judgment. So it would be here. The judge said that only fresh evidence would make him change his judgment so judgment would be the, would be the correct word form to be uh, filled in the blank so this is how you can uh, fill in the blanks with the appropriate words you can even take the help of your dictionary and try to fill in the uh, fill in the blanks with the correct words so we have here seven fill in the blanks you can use correct forms of the words given in the brackets and fill in the blanks i hope you will be able to fill in the blanks. If any queries, you can again text me in the WhatsApp group. Thank you and have a wonderful day.